Hotep Aquarius, welcome to your lovers only reading for the month of February 2021. I am Cosmic Divine Tarot and Aqua, this is for your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. If it resonates with you, then go ahead, hit that like, share, subscribe to my channel hit the bell notifier to know when i will be uploading new messages for you aqua now if this is not your message then don't worry about that just come on hit back next time and let me get you then okay now aquarius i have a few announcements to make love first off the uh tomorrow is the 24th and that day marks the end of the first 30 days of free personal readings that I have been giving everyone and that means that there will only be 60 days left of these free readings Aquarius so if you are interested in a free reading then don't hesitate to contact me baby all right now the way to contact me is in the description box below However, those of you who have already contacted me through Skype, uh, I'm no longer using that app because it just slows down my devices. So uh, I switched it from Skype to WhatsApp. So any of you are interested in uh, coming over to WhatsApp with me, my number for WhatsApp will be in the description box below. And you will also have a Facebook Messenger and my name over there, okay? Now Aquarius, one more thing. <laughs> My darling, I'm doing something different for your reading right now, okay? As you can see, I have all the zodiac symbols up there and uh, they're up there because I wanna do a what each zodiac sign wants to do to you sexually, baby. How they feel about you sexually. Uh, you know, what do they think about the Aquarius on a sexual tip, okay? And that's at the end of the reading, so my darling, stay tuned. You do not want to miss that. But let's get into this reading now. Okay. Yeah. Setting it off with the Romance Angels. I shuffled about a hundred times and you pulled these cards, Aquarius. Um, first, you have keep an open mind, okay? It says your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Well, Aquarius, um, I would say being an Aquarius myself, that that is not a, a bad thing right there. Because... If your soulmate that is being sent to you from the universe is differing from your usual type, the usual type that you have been attracting or that we have been attracting are those that have not been necessarily reciprocating our love, our affection, and our time, okay? We need someone who is going to be uh, not lazy in a relationship, not somebody who feel that you have to do all the work and the upkeep of the relationship and you know all the things that you have to do also Aquarius this person I feel is different because they could be the same sex here you got two people who are the same sex all right this person uh, may be interested in you uh, who is the same sex and the universe has sent this person to you for a reason as your soulmate now also Aquarius you may be of a, uh, a different spiritual background this person may be religious and you know you're not religious or vice versa okay so it's like um, they're just different they're different from the people who have uh, you've been attracting who have just completely let you down my darling okay now it says it is safe for you to love Aquarius. Open up your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. My darling, you are up here on this horse because you have been disappointed by these earthlings walking this planet. You've risen yourself up and elevated to a higher level of existence where you feel that you would just go ahead and give you the love and the effort and the affection that other people have just failed to give you, okay? So, 
However, as you are doing that, Aquarius, you must expect that the universe is going to send someone to give you the type of love that you deserve because you are loving yourself and because you have built up this defense against those people from your past who did not give you what it was that you deserved here, Aqua. Okay, so this person uh, is somebody who, like I said, is not on your level uh, spiritually, mentally, but they are on your level and the fact that they are going to reciprocate. That's what you want. You want someone to reciprocate. You've been going after people who you felt should have a certain type of mindset. But Aquarius... Uh, those people have let you down. And you also have been going after people who were the opposite sex. But the universe is sending you somebody who may be of the same sex, baby. So just keep that in mind, my darling. Here we got the Sensual Wicca, a new tarot deck that I bought for you, Aquarius. Now I shuffled a hundred times and these cards came out, love. The first card you have is the Three of Pentacles, Aqua. As you can see, that this person who is different from your usual type is somebody who wants to be a team player. With the Three of Pentacles, this person, they want to build a house with you. They want to be that man that is going to uh, be in your life, that is going to give you the comfort of a man. Because, Aquarius, that's what you need. You need the comfort of a man, like a... Uh, Stephanie Mills sang the comfort of a man. I'm put that in a daggone um uh what's it comments in below, okay? Yeah, this person is somebody who wants to build with you, this person wants to build a home. They ain't playing Aquarius. Now this female that you could be attracting or the male that you could be attracting could have masculine energy who wants to be uh in a relationship with you because Aquarius here is the time right here. Now, this person right here is a pregnant woman, so I see it as the empress, okay? They know that you are the empress, and they want to build a home with you. They want to knock you up, Aqua. They want to give you some good loving. Oh, yeah. They want to give you some good, good loving, all right? Now, this card could also be talking about the... uh. Wait a second. Okay, Aquarius, this card is telling me something else right now. <laughs> it's like the, the young girl, the, uh, you know, the woman of um, mature age, and then the old crone. Okay? It's like time right here. You need time. These are the weavers of time. They are, you know, telling you that it may be time for you to go ahead and get knocked up. You got your... um. Your elder inside of you, your older self, your higher self, telling you that, yeah, this person may be the one. You got your younger self, your inner child, telling you that, yeah, this person may be the one. But Aquarius, you have uh, the seven of wands here, which means you are deflecting their advances. Now, here is the, uh, the cobra back here, okay? The cobra back here is your uh, line of defense, <laughs> Okay, this person is coming at you with the wand, trying to give you some tender love and care with a strong, hard, delicious magic stick, okay? And you're up there talking about, no, no, baby, what? Six of swords, what you doing, Aqua? This person, uh, you're going to leave this person, you're going to walk away from this person, you're going to be stone cold, no life here, the tree don't got no leaves on it, the sword's in the boat, you you taking all the swords and all the betrayals that you have experienced and leaving Aquarius. Ooh. Now, it could be that you are leaving and going towards the uh, Five of Cups here. Because uh, this card is showing me that, you know, first of all, like I said, it may be the same sex that is interested in making you uh, their relationship or, or their lover. And you have this person from your past right here who is very upset about it and throwing uh, everything around, like very much enraged at you finding uh, somebody else, 
Okay? So that's what it's looking like. It's looking like these three cards may be saying that eventually your defenses are going to come down, Aqua. And this person is going to pull you close to them. And you're going to be all kissing. And they're going to be sucking and licking all on your lips and your tongue. And rubbing all over your naked body. Because y'all naked here. Okay? Mm, Aqua. Okay, my darling. Yeah. Yeah, you just need you just needed some time, Aquarius. You needed some time to uh you know, tell yourself that you don't need anybody else's love and affection to feel whole. And then the universe after seeing that you actually meant that when you kept uh you know these people away from you, people from your past, you went ahead and walked away. You did not turn back, you didn't go back. Okay? That told the universe, that told your ancestors, it told the deity that you worship, that you're ready for love. Oh, you're ready for this this uh masculine to come all up into your life. Now this could also be a feminine who's gonna make the house a home. Who would not mind being the mother of your child, Aqua? Now let's go ahead and get some more messages. What other messages do we have for Aquarius? Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Okay, we got three of them coming out. Yes, baby. Yes, baby. Here we go. Here we go. Aquarius. Now, you know full well that you've been dreaming and fantasizing about somebody. Here is the, um, the Ace of... Uh, fire here okay you want this one you want somebody to bring a wand to you and just go ahead and give it to you because you just have not had it in a while and you just need it baby you need it which is why the universe is trying to give you six wands that means this person is going to come at you with a full six could be like substituted for Sex. The only thing we got to do is substitute the I for the E and you get sex, right? So this person is coming towards you with the sex of wands, okay? This person wants to fulfill the fantasies that you've been dreaming about, Aquarius. This man right here. Come on, Aqua. Here we go. Uh, the Nine of Fire. Yes, baby, this person is reaching for your wand or they want you to reach for theirs. OK, they want you to know that this wand, uh, this phallus belongs to you, Aquarius, because you've been dealing with phalluses that haven't belonged to you. They belong to you and somebody else and somebody else, Aquarius. This person has not uh, is not somebody who is going to be doing that. They only want you you Aquarius here is the uh chariot right here you could be dealing with a cancer a Leo um Aries Sagittarius okay Capricorn Virgo Taurus this person wants you to ride this wand they they have they want you to pull this wand out get on top of that wand and ride it for as long as you need to as long as you need to that's going to awaken this other side to you that's been dormanted because people have been so lazy in relationships with you Aquarius okay they haven't been giving you that love that you need babe know what we got here three of daggone air Yes, baby. It's like, you know, you've been feeling like on your kitty or on your wand that somebody needs to go ahead and come and do something with this. Okay? <laughs> somebody needs to go ahead and come and do something with this. And you're like, uh, you know, you're just tired of just being without somebody like that. You know, it's like you're wondering when are you going to get somebody to come to you? When are you going to stop being heartbroken and betrayed and feeling, uh, you know, abandoned by people? When is that going to happen? When are you going to find somebody who's going to pursue you, Aqua? When are you going to find somebody, oh, heck yeah, Aquarius, the knave of water. When you going, when is the universe going to send you somebody that's going to come and get you and just put you over their shoulder, you know, and say, you know, baby, come on, I got you. I got you. You know what I'm saying? You're mine. You're mine. This booty belongs to me. This kitty, this coot, this wand 
uh, belongs to me, okay? You need somebody strong to come into you like that, Aquarius. You need somebody strong just to, you know, come into your life and, and to heal your heart. And the universe is saying, baby, it is safe for you to love this one. Because we got the, uh, the ace of air here, Aquarius. This person is looking at you like you are the most sexiest, beautiful, finest. They are turned on. They have such a strong erection for you, my darling, okay? They see you as just the ultimate, the ultimate. That's why they're giving you this sex of wands here. But you've got this deck on Scorpion. No, baby. Mm -mm. Let down the defenses, Aqua. Let down the defenses, especially if this is somebody different. <laughs> Maybe even a different zodiac sign. We've been attracting water signs for a long time. You may be attracting somebody who, like I said, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, somebody who is a fire sign, an earth sign, okay? We got the judgment here, okay? So the universe is, uh, uh, and your judgment is for this person to be in your life, Aquarius. Okay, this person, we got the uh, the Ace of Swords, which is speaking on some truth here, baby. Okay, so this person is ready to be your truth. They're ready to be that strong seduction, Aquarius. They're ready to lay your body out like this. It's your arm down like you can't take it no more. They're ready to completely dick you down, Aquarius. So don't you sit up there like, huh, I don't want to do this. I don't feel like this is something I should do because I have been attracting people who've hurt me. Aqua, I overstand, baby. Trust me. I overstand 100%. I've, I've attracted the same type of people you've been attracting, Aqua, okay? Same type of people. But Aquarius... Ugh, oh, my darling, this this person right here wants to go ahead and, and make it all moist and, you know, wet and dripping and soaking. And, you know, they can just go ahead and go inside and penetrate you and hit that dag on G-Spot. Get you into some type of um, multi-orgasmic mode. How long have you been waiting for that, love? Well, it's here, my darling. Okay, it's here. It's here. It's time for you to get it. Or it's on its way. When it shows up, don't you be sitting up there like mm, denying this abundance, Aquarius. How long did you think you was going to have to wait for this? You thought it was going to have to wait uh, that this time was going to be years and years for you to get something like this? No, baby. It says keep a positive mindset. Uh, manifest exactly what you want. Gratitude. Uh, bliss. Okay, that's what this person is. Bliss. Mm -hmm. Bliss, baby. Now, what other messages do we have for Aquarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay, now here we have, uh, hold up, my cards fell. Okay, emotional intimacy. So, Aqua, this wall that you build up, baby, you're going to have to go ahead and, um, let it down with this person just a little. Let your wall down just a little. It says healing relationship with inner self. Child proceeds successful relationships. Love is energy. So it's like you have to uh, go off of how this person is making you feel, Aqua. Not necessarily uh, what they're saying or what they're doing, but how they make you feel. This person make you feel good. This person make you feel like happy you're happy with this person and you you just feel good with this person does this person make you feel like that aqua now that my cards have turned around if this person makes you feel like that then aquarius love is energy <laughs> you want love baby what we got we got here okay this person likes you oh you know you like this person too, Aquarius. Look, someone likes you. Romance is booming. Blooming. Fun. Flirting. Want to date. They want to date you, Aqua. They want to take you out, baby. 
Let me get you one more card because I want you to go ahead and do this, Aquarius. I want you to go ahead and, and uh, you know, accept this love call when they call you. Uh, someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. So this person is telling you that they love you, they like you, Aquarius. Okay, so just let this person go ahead and... um. And be what it is that you need them to be. And let me see. We got 20 minutes already. I still got to do the um, all the zodiac signs. But yeah, Aquarius, just just don't don't allow this person to slip through your fingers, baby, because you need this. And who knows how long it's going to take for you to bring about somebody like this again, or the universe to manifest somebody like this again. You want to let this person go so you can keep manifesting the same losers you've been manifesting? Aquarius, no, my darling. No. Now, here is the, uh, how all the zodiac signs feel about you sexually, what they want to do to you sexually, okay? All of them. Let me just shuffle a little bit here. It's time, Aqua. It's time. It's, it's about to be time. If this person hasn't stepped on the scene yet, they're going to step on the scene. And they're going to be so different than what you're used to. This person is going to be in hot pursuit. They're going to be in hot pursuit for you. And don't you, like I say, baby, allow, allow this person to pursue you, Aquarius. Now let's go into the Aries. What does the Aries want to do to Aquarius sexually? How does the Aries feel about Aquarius? And uh, how do they think about Aquarius sexually? We got the four of air here. Well, my darling, this tells me that this person wants to uh, get you booty butt naked and just show you a very good time. Have you, uh, you know, on cloud nine to the ninth power of nine, okay? We got the four of air here, which means they want to go into some type of retreat with you, okay? Take you to another world where you see all types of doves, okay? Aqua, and then you got a daggone umbrella with your shoes on. So, you know, this is another type of world that this Aries want to uh, transport you to. They want to get you booty butt naked and uh, go ahead and, uh, you know, make it happen, baby. Now, what else we got here? Because they see you as a beautiful work of art. This is the lovers here. They want to be a lover to you. Every single time they see you, they imagine your clothes off. Imagine what it was like when they had your clothes off, Aquarius. And then they just want to keep them off. They want to keep them clothes off and just go ahead and just give it to you, Aqua. They want to lick and suck and rub all over your body. Now, I said a fire sign, didn't I? You got a fire sign talking to you, Aquarius? Or you might. <laughs> How about the, uh, the Taurus? Yeah, the Taurus, okay. How's the Taurus? What does the Taurus want to do to Aquarius sexually? How does the Taurus think about Aquarius sexually? What do they want? I mean, how? What, what's in their mind? What they want to do? Oh, they're hunting you, Aqua. This is the Four of Water. You got your hand on your hip, not knowing if you want to take this person's offer. But they up there after you like, baby, nah. Because here is this, here is this hard, strong wand back here. Like, you think I, uh, I'm going to let you go ahead and escape me? Think again. Nah, give me another card. Clarify, y'all. This person is coming after you. You got your hand on your hip like you ain't going to accept this. But, <laughs> baby, they're chasing you across the daggone world. They may be in another city, another state, another country. And you may be running from them. And they <laughs> are going to follow you. Or they're just going to come to another city, another state, another country to get you, baby. Okay? Yeah, they want to make your body their world and explore every single square inch of you. Okay, Aquarius? Yeah. Now, how about that Gemini? Mm hmm Ooh, Aquarius. So, the Gemini got the devil energy. This person sees you as smoking hot. And this person wants to just, ooh, 
Take off those clothes and oral sex you completely down, baby. You see this card, right? He got his hand on her thigh. Uh, both of her thighs with his tongue all up in between her legs and that's you in ecstasy right here or you know it could be a male it doesn't have to be a, a kitty that this person is is sucking and licking on it could be a uh, a uh, wand too that they're holding their uh you know thighs in the man's butt to them and like you know putting that wand deep in their throat okay because it's like you have a very strong sexual uh magnetic uh attraction to you Aquarius it's like something very you know really strong and highly sexual now let's go ahead and see about that daggone cancer what's up with that cancer how's that cancer what does that cancer want to do to Aquarius sexually? Oh, the cancer is just watching you, baby, with the daggone knave of air. They watching you. They're spying on you. They are stalking you because they want what? Okay. Mm, yes, baby. Looking for you. We got the... uh. The nine of earth here. This person wants to bend you over and just lick all up in between them booty cheeks, okay? Yeah, they want to remove those panties, Aqua. But they're looking all over for you, okay? Watching you, just waiting for, you know, the opportunity to bend you over, baby, okay? Yeah. And I think you know this with the high priestess that this person is looking for you. And when they get to you, they're just going to open up your legs and start uh, giving it to you like you just need it done, Aqua. Okay. Now, what's going on with this Leo? Leo. What does Leo uh, want to do to Aquarius sexually? Come on. Let's see, baby. Let's see. Oh, okay. Same cards. All right. Leo is just looking at you. They can't help but to look at you. It's like they're looking at you from the uh, the side of their face. It's like this person is just spying on you with the judgment. Their judgment is be, uh, to uh, go ahead and continue to see you smoking hot. The devil energy wanting to pull off all of your clothes and do the same thing. Now, I think this was this. I think that was Taurus wanted to do, right? Yeah, this person wants to do the same thing, Aquarius. People just want to go ahead and be down in between your legs, okay? They want to be down in between your legs and just be making you multiple orgasm, okay? Now, how about that daggone uh, uh, Virgo? What's up with that Virgo? That Virgo, what that Virgo want to do? Okay, yeah, that Virgo want to sneak up on you, baby. Here's the Ten of Earth here. Why you sitting up there having your daggone uh, wine and reading a book, minding your own business, wanting to be single? Okay, this Virgo <laughs> is going to sneak up on you and do what? Let me see. Give me another clarifier. Do what? Oh, okay, here's the Hermit. That's the Virgo. Okay, they've been sitting here by themselves, and now they just want to come towards you. Okay, Aquarius. Yeah, they want you to offer them the kitty. They want you to offer them the wand. They want to lift up this dress while you're sitting there with your legs out. <laughs> They want to they want to know what the kitty looks like. They want to know what the wand looks like and they definitely want to know what it tastes like. Okay? So that's what they want to do. Okay? You got a lot of people just wanting that oral sex, Aqua. Now let's get into the uh who's next? Libra. Libra. How what does Libra think about Aquarius? Okay? Sexually, this Libra wants to do the same thing Aries wanted to do get you on cloud nine to the ninth power of nine and have you in another world, Aqua, in another world where you know you just you know only see this person. This person is rushing towards you with the knight of air hair with this strong uh phallus coming towards you, wanting to uh to, to get you straight smack dead in the sack, baby. Okay, mm. now let's get to that Scorpio. <laughs> What's that Scorpio like? Okay, what Scorpio think of uh, Aquarius? What does Scorpio want to do to Aquarius sexually? We got two cards out here. Oh my goodness. Well, they've just been dreaming about uh, 
you touching and feeling all on their wand, okay? Having your finger down on their finger and their kitty and everything. And they uh, want you to come to their house or want to come to your house and get you in some type of uh, strong ecstasy, okay? They also want to give you a piece of their heart. Mm, okay, now how about that uh, Sagittarius? What's that Sagittarius like? <laughs> What does Sagittarius want to do to Aqua? Here we got the Ace of Earth. The Sagittarius wants to win you, okay? The Sagittarius wants to be somebody who wins you over everybody else, okay? They want to win you over everybody else and do what? Sexually. We're trying to get sexual, baby. Got two more cards here. Ow! Okay. Come towards you and hunt you down with this strong, long, hard wand. Okay? Yes, baby. Shoot it off. Chasing you. They are chasing you. That's what they're doing. They're chasing you across the world. Okay? Across the world. Across the city, state. Okay? Or they're just chasing you in your state and you don't even know about it. Now, here we got the... Uh... No, you do know about it, but it's like, you know... This person just really has a highly strong sexual attraction to you. Now, let's get to this uh, Capricorn. How does this Capricorn feel about Aquarius sexually? What do they want to do? Oh, they want to utilize this wand, baby, okay? They want to utilize this wand and go deep inside you. That's what that daggone Capricorn want to do. And that, I think I'm just going to leave this card here because we're already on... <laughs> It's over 30 minutes, so I'm going to try to wrap it up, Aqua. Here we got the uh, the uh, Capricorn. Want to utilize this wand and go deep with it, baby, okay? Now, let's go ahead and get this uh, Aquarius. What does the Aqua want to do to an Aqua? <laughs> okay, Aquarius, they're just dreaming about doing that Ace of Fire. They're dreaming about... Laying you on your side here, booty, butt, naked, and giving it to you from the side. And you know that would be good, right? You know that would be real good because you need that too, Aquarius. Yes, baby. Now let's go ahead and get this Pisces so we can wrap this up. Here we go. The Pisces uh, wants to defeat your defenses. You got your defenses up high. Uh, but this person wants to knock down those defenses with the five of air. Here is the death card. Bring an end to your defenses. You know, bring an end to, uh, you know, you trying not to deal with them. They want to revive the relationship. They want to knock down that wall, revive the relationship. And they need you to do it. Oh, my goodness. And after they do that, Aquarius, they want to just take a shower with you or watch you take a shower. They want to see the water drip down off of your body and, you know what I'm saying, down in between your legs and in between your butt, your hair wet and everything. And then they want to just uh, seven of waters you. Do all types of various things to your naked, delicious body. All right, my darling. So that's what all the signs want to do to you, okay? Aquarius. I'm going to have to go ahead and bring this to an end, my darling. Uh, if it resonated with you, then go ahead and hit that like, share, subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell notifier to